A surgical thrombectomy technique is recommended during the incorporation period of the HeroGraph's arterial graft component. After the arterial graft component is completely incorporated, a percutaneous thrombectomy technique is recommended. Some examples for consideration are soft compliant balloon maceration, soft compliant balloon assisted aspiration, realytic thrombectomy system. The thrombectomy device should not have any mechanically moving or circulating parts to avoid internal damage to the outflow component. Devices used to declot Hero should be 90 centimeters in length. The device must accommodate the full length of Hero. Fluoroscopy is used throughout the procedure to visualize the outflow component tip and device connector. Contrast can be injected to verify patency. Hero has no venous anastomosis because the tip of the outflow component is located in the mid to upper right atrium. Do not extend devices beyond the tip of the venous outflow component to avoid dislodging HERO. Do not pull a fully inflated balloon through the titanium connector to avoid balloon puncture. Within the graft portion of the HERO device, you may employ any techniques you currently use to manage conventional EPTFE grafts. HERO patency rates are comparable to conventional grafts and device occlusions are treated with similar methods.